Okay, YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to do the AGS-101 screen swap with the Game Boy Advance and the Game Boy Advance SP-101 screen. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, um, what we need is a Game Boy that has that AGS-101 screen. Um, you can see it right there. It's the more brighter screen. This one doesn't have a battery in it, so we can't check it out but it does work and then we need a Game Boy Advance um, for this video I'm going to be using this white one um, and I'm going to show you how to do it okay so first I'm going to take apart this Game Boy Advance SP um, we're going to be using a tri-wing Okay, after we got that taken apart, we're going to take these three screws off. Lift this up. There is a ribbon right here. We're going to take those out, take that apart. For this video, uh, for future reference, I'm just going to write on this one. That's good. That one. Okay, we're going to get a flathead screwdriver and take these out. I just stick them right there. From there, unscrew these. And flip this open as well. We're going to have to take this screw out right here. Just a Phillips screwdriver. That will open up the screen and give you that screen. Okay, so there are two different um, types of pin connectors. Um, for this video, I just have this um, converter. Just make sure that it fits in there. It does because I've already checked to make sure that model works. So we got the screen here. We're going to put it to the side. And then this is what we're going to be using. The links below where to buy this at. This is the best one. Doesn't take any additional soldering. Okay, anyways. Now we're going to be taking apart this Game Boy Advance. Um, for the video, I have actually already taken it apart. Um, there is a tri wing right here, 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 and then a flathead or a, sorry, a Phillips right here. And after you do that, it just comes apart. And then you're going to be wanting to unscrew a screw here, here, and then here. And once you unscrew that, um, it'll leave you, well, we'll do it really quick. Okay. And we wanna pop these up right here. Pull the screen out. Now we're going to want to kind of lift up on this to get that screen off because it is stuck on there. Um, I reuse these, so I'm just going to put this one in my pile. And we're going to take this off as well because we're not going to need it. Okay, we're going to save all this because we're going to use it. 
reuse that. So that gives us the shell. Usually I take the screen out. Just makes it easier when you're um, cutting it up to make sure the AGS-101 screen fits in there. Okay, so this is the AGS-101 screen. Um, what we do, we're gonna take this off right here. And we can just trash that. Um, we're gonna take this off as well, because we do need that. But after I take it off, I'm gonna put it back on really quick. Next, what we do is we set this down right here, and we're going to mark um, the spots that we need to cut out. So as you can see right here, it's gonna need cut out right there. Um, it's gonna need cut out all down here. And then as well, right here and then also you're going to be cutting this out and all of this out so now i have all the spots i'm going to cut out and i'm going to put this i'm going to put the screen protector back on it just to kind of shield it from any dust i'll put that to the side <clears throat> okay with this um, i have a little set with these mini blades on it. I'm gonna be using this to cut out those pieces. I'm gonna be using, this set's not that great. I bought it at Walmart. It looked like something that could work well, but um, it just doesn't work that great. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut all this off <clears throat> okay so this is what it's going to look like right here after it's done um, next we're going to go take the screen make sure it fits sometimes it's going to be off by a bit if that is the case um, right here I'm going to need to do a little bit of um, a little fixing up on it really quick so this should make it fit and there we go perfect fit well not quite perfect but we'll take it okay Okay, push that down. Next, we're going to get the end part. This is for testing purposes to make sure I have it in there correctly. As you can see, it's working great. The screen's nice and bright. Okay, so now I just got to put everything together. So we're gonna do... Okay, from here, we're going to put the screws back in. And I forget. Do it this way. Okay, once you have it in there, take your screwdriver, your screws, screw these back in. From there, we're gonna put these back in there. Left, 
right. Just back on there. Now we're going to put this back on. Make sure it works really quick. And it works. So now we're going to put everything back together. Okay, once it's all put together, try it out. As you can see, it is very bright. We'll try a game in there so we can see how good it looks. Obviously, I'm going to have to swap this screen out. It looks a lot better than the other version without the backlight. Definitely an upgrade. I would definitely recommend doing this. Well worth it. Especially if you have an AGS-101 laying around and it's not in that good of shape. If you guys have any questions or if you want me to do another video, let me know. Um, I put all the specs on the bottom in the comment section. All of the different connections that you're going to need. Um, some of them you need to solder. Some of them, some of them you don't. Um, I like to pay a little extra and go with the ones that you don't have to solder just because it's a lot easier to do. Also, another thing to look at is there's two type of um, ribbons for the Game Boy Advance SP101s. And there are two different motherboards for the Game Boy Advances. Um, we're going to see if you see that right there. It's 101-2. This one is 101-1. This one is 101-2. Okay, so the difference, um, these ones both have um, small ribbons. Um, this is one that has a longer ribbon. It's a 025-1. Um, this one has a big ribbon, and it is a... Zero two nine, or sorry, zero two eight one. So that's how you tell what kind of motherboard you have. You can also kind of look right there and see. Um, in order to tell what type of screen you have for a Game Boy Advance SP, the only thing you're gonna have you can do is just take the whole thing apart and see how big the ribbon is on the screen. I put that information in the comment section below as well. Um, if you guys have any other questions, please let me know. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can with the answers. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll look forward to posting more in the future. So please subscribe so you can stay up to date on, on all my posts.